Okay, guys, being here, uh, previously we did this structure. So today uh, we're going to modify this. Uh, we're going to make this uh, straight, make this uh, structure in one uh, plane. Okay, so currently it's, uh, it's curved. Okay, so let's do it. So um, I will upload this family. So if you want to have a look, okay, so. So edit, and so um, so this is a, a form, a sweep we we created from a spline. So if I HH the form, so you will see this is a spline. Okay. So the reason why this is curved this way is we have the point uh, straight uh, up from this the, the adaptive point so what we can do is because it's it's roughly um, uh, it's not 45 degree but close to that angle so what we can do is so we, instead of have these so if I go to uh, if I select so see this one so the point here so there are two of these points so we can just move them so on the sides by roughly 100 because previously these points are offset from the back, from the adaptive point by 100 so if I move them uh, to the side by roughly 100 and this the angle or this this um, spline will be will be not exactly flat but close Okay, so let's do it again. So to uh, let's go to the side view, zoom in, select these two points, move MV uh, by 100, and then if I type HR, so you will see now it's close. So let's move this back. Oh, sorry, load this back and overwrite. okay so most of them so especially the, the, the one in the middle is all okay it's not perfect flat but close so this one's slightly more curved this one's uh <laughs> i don't know so let's go to floor plan so see if we can fix it um maybe we can move trying to tab select adaptive points and then so just try to use your keyboard move yeah all oh, good and move it back ah oh, looks like uh yeah maybe you just you just move back but not onto that yeah that's that's it <laughs> Yeah, all good here. So let's have a look in 3D view. Uh, maybe we need to flip it. Yeah, I think that's that's good. So it's not perfect, but uh, I think that's acceptable. Okay, so this is the first one, first method. So the second method is we're going to make it perfect, perfectly flat. Okay. So let's do it. So select it again. So this time I'm going to just uh, de I'll delete these forms, and also I will I will delete this uh, spline, and also this one. So instead of using spline, um, oh hell, uh, I lost the point. Nah, that's fine. I'll just we, we will do it. Uh, we will create that those points again. So I will also delete these point, these uh, profiles so let me just delete delete the profile delete the profile and this one so I'll just check and see if there's extra points here so H H the uh, no more that's good HR same H H no more that's good so 
now we have all these four one two three four adaptive points and also a reference line between these two and then a middle point the middle point so we can uh, place the the points back so place points draw on work plan set work plan pick the horizontal work plan of this point and place it on the point and click OK so this one and then we need to offset it so this is W1 so which means this offset will be H1 okay so height 1 and then same uh, draw on work plan set work plan pick this horizontal tab tab and place it on the point and OK so now select this point and link this to H2. Okay, so can you see? Can you see the? Yeah, maybe I'll just turn on turn on the thing line so you can see this line. Um, okay, so now select this point. Okay, and then also control select this one, spline, and reference line. And then we are going to use the uh, this reference line. So see this work plan, this one. We're going to set work plan on this. Uh, okay, so on this work plan, and then we are going to create a partial ellipse. Okay, so a partial ellipse, and we're going to just place it uh, on here. So one, two, and three. Okay, so just. Don't worry too much about the size. So now we can create uh, create this dimension and this one. Okay, so this one uh, we are going to create a, a parameter for it. So because this is W two, so maybe I'll just call it uh, maybe call it R two A. Okay, so because we, we we're going to create two. So I'll call it R2A and then this one will be R2B. So R2A instance. Okay, so this one will be R2 and B and instance and okay. So now if you look at here, so we want this uh, ellipse, partial ellipse to match the, the width of this. So which means this R2A will uh will equal um half of this half of w2 so let's go go to family types so r2a equals w2 divided by 2 and okay so okay so then we need to center this to this reference line so select this ellipse and here so check this center mark visible so now you will see this blue color center line so you can a l align pick this reference line and pick this and then lock so now if we move this so you will see move this point the arc will follow will follow the uh, follow this 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 uh, reference line okay so um, and also we need to do a formula we need to add a formula for this one r to b so if i to rotate it to this angle and i'll just do a screenshot and you will see this is if i connect this and connect this and connect this so this is a right angle uh, a tri triangle and this is H, um, H1, okay? So this is H1. This is, uh, so we need a parameter for this. We need a reporting parameter. Or maybe I'll just call it RP. And then from this triangle shape, we can get this. We can get this. This is uh, R2B, okay? So R2B equals square root h1 square plus r p square so this is the formula for this the length of this so which is the 
so from here to so this this parameter so first we just need to create a parameter for a, a reporting parameter for so let's just do this di try to pick this point okay so pick the adaptive point and pick this adaptive points so and then we're going to pre create a uh, report uh, let's call it rp instance and reporting and okay so now go to family types so r2b equals sqrt square square root uh, bracket and h h1 square plus rp square bracket so apply and then you will you will see um oh hell it's not uh this looks uh, we need to figure out something's not right here so um hang on let me, let me go to floor plan so uh looks like this so see this is not straight so maybe I'll, I'll just move this to roughly to a line uh, still not so I need to align the point to the point okay so uh, maybe still not aligned oops let's try this AL and line this point yeah so that's better so now it's straight and all good so now let's have a look in 3d view yeah so you'll see this uh, ellipse so it's now matching the so it will go through that point exactly okay so and if let's try if we select these two points and then use your use the keyboard see that's good try these two as well yes good so now let's repeat uh repeat this okay so one two spline uh that should be fine this still not uh we probably let's just control Z. Uh, we want to make sure everything is all aligned. It's just this. I'll use align along this and pick this point one. Align this, pick this point two, and then also the other direction. So this align two point two. So it looks like it moved a little bit. So and also this one and pick this point four so now should be all good perfect so now let's select these two and I create a line no more warning okay so make it a reference line and then set work plan pick this work plan and create a reference line and partial ellipse so we can just start let's draw it randomly just here okay and then place a dimension another dimension and then select this dimension create a so this time uh, it will be r1a i think instance and okay and then this one will be r1b instance okay so now if we go to family types so it will be the same same formula exactly the same formula but just switch oh we need to swap some of the parameters so for example r2b we can copy this one and place it here we just need to swap h h2 instead okay so and then this one same control c control v change this from two to one okay so apply okay so now the size is it's good just need to uh, check this center mark and then al align 
pick this reference line and then pick this center line and the lock so now should be all good let's test again so select these two points good and these two good so now we can uh, now we have this path we can place uh, profiles place one, place one point draw on face place it on this reference line reference circle draw on word plan set word plan pick this word plan and let's just draw oops sorry draw a circle radius select this and it should be this one so this is one of the profile so select everything the so dimension the points and the the circle cc multiple one two three so we need two on each uh, uh, part okay so let me change the scale so select this point pick pick uh, pick new host just place it down this and then again another one pick new host and again another one pick new host so now we can create so profile control profile control path create form profile control profile control path create form and then we can just select this point so this point can go to zero and this point can go to one this one this one let me check so this one go uh, yeah this one's close to one so typing one and this one typing zero so now we have all the uh, these two form and it's it's perfectly it's flat okay so 100% flat so now let's uh, load this into here over right yeah I think that's perfect but I'm, I'm not sure why the middle one's gone uh, uh, just let's just uh, place another one oh H H H H so create component one oops you just make sure you uh, see this uh, intersection three and four yeah good yeah perfect hr and oh don't worry you can flip it okay and then that's it so now it's per uh, it's perfectly flat okay so that's it um, I will upload both the uh, before and after so you can have a look okay so thank you I'll see you next time bye